Every bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. But for a $5,000 budget boost, would she hand over the planning to her groom? If she's ready and willing to throw the dice, then it's I do. But at what price? Do you know what a new wedding dress like this would cost at a store? Why do you think we're not shopping at a new <laughs> wedding dress store? I know you're not going to spend enough for it to be the kind of event that we want. I know that we can have an amazing event and still save some money. I understand that, you know, you want to save money, but they're like a dollar a cookie, and you're not even going to give one to every single person? I wanted to keep costs under control, and I knew I could. There are other places you can cut costs, okay. not on my dress. Weddings are a groom whose money is tight. Weddings are a bride who spends it despite. Weddings are debt almost overnight. Meet newlyweds Paul and Leslie. They've opted to receive an additional $5,000 towards their budget, but only if Leslie gives total control over the planning of their wedding to her notoriously frugal fiance. Will Leslie regret giving Pennywise Paul control over the purse strings? Can his lowball spending habits satisfy Leslie's high expectations for their wedding day? My name's Paul, and I'm a 30-year-old sales rep. I met Leslie, who's a scholastic event planner, back when we were in high school. This is the story of how I planned our wedding in fine retro style. I gave up control of planning the wedding to Paul because I'm an event planner at a university and I have three events happening right around the time of our wedding and I'm concerned I won't be able to, to do as good a job as I want to see. And I'd like to see how Paul does because he tells me all the time that it's really easy. I really want to plan this wedding on my own because I know I can do this. I have some great ideas. Even though Leslie's not convinced that I can pull this off, I know I can. Our wedding day made me into a bit of a stress ball. I couldn't stop worrying about every last detail. And if everything was executed in the way that it should be, it just surprised Leslie in a good way. <laughs> Paul may have reason to fear Leslie's reaction. Will he stick to his thrifty ways, or will he take advantage of the budget boost to satisfy his bride? Planning our wedding without Leslie's input was tougher than I thought it would be, but also pretty empowering. Since I had backup from Heidi, I knew she'd keep me on track. Meet wedding planner Heidi Allen. With her 10 years of experience, she hopes to guide groom Paul along the way, teaching him the true costs of nuptials. My role as a wedding planner is to help a groom with all the logistics of his wedding and also keep an eye on the bottom line. I'm really happy to be meeting with the two of you today to help plan your wedding. Now, of course, Leslie, you've given up total control of your wedding to Paul for a $5,000 budget boost. Leslie, why on earth are you doing this? He kind of brushes off how hard I work to put together events, and so I think he needs to go through it once. It doesn't seem that bad. I mean, I've thought a lot about it. I think uh, it'll be OK. Wow. OK, well, you <laughs> know what? I can't wait to watch you in. <laughs> Guest count. Do we have a guest count? About 150. Who is going to be helping you plan this wedding, Paul? I got my brother, Mark, and uh, Leslie's two brothers. I'm just not sure how I feel about all guys. <laughs> yeah. I thought about that. You know what? I'm probably going to ask uh, Mark's girlfriend, Vanessa, um, for the female perspective on some things. So, you know what? I need to ask a lot more questions about the wedding, and if I'm going to, Leslie, I have to ask you to leave now. <laughs> OK. So okay. Bye, sweetheart. My vision for the wedding is something that touches back on old world 18th century charm with lots of candlelight, lots of opulent ambiance, and just a place where people feel like it's really warm and welcoming. First, right off the top, you need to describe to me your entire vision of your wedding. What I think I really want to go with is this whole 1950s, maybe early 60s, retro vintage look. Uh, really? But not like in a kitschy way, like thinking more of the cosmopolitan look. Okay, so you don't want like 50s diner. No. You want no. this very upscale cosmopolitan. Men 50s. in suits, yes. drinking brandy, you know, wow. that sort of thing. There's just something so cool about that era. Plus, I mean, that's when my folks got married mm -hmm. during that time, oh, too. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, it'll be a throwback to that, too. What are you going to do for the reception venue? I've got the perfect place, and I've already booked it. I've got, uh, I booked a country club, which just completely fits the vibe for the wedding. OK. The bride's dress, Leslie's dress. Now, this is one of the things I want to tie into the theme. I want to go pure vintage. Like, I want an actual 
dress from that era, like uh, to keep it authentic. Okay then, vintage dress store, not a wedding gown store. Okay. Exactly. Well, it will fit the saying, something borrowed. So if we're going to finish this up, we need to bring Leslie back so we can figure out the budget. Alrighty. Leslie and I have two different frames of minds when it comes to down to money. I like to save. I'm a little bit more conservative when it comes to cash. Leslie will spend when it comes down to things that she really, really wants. She has no problems laying down cash. Who's paying? We are. Yeah. Who is more budget conscious? This guy. <laughs> really? I am, Definitely. I stick to a budget. I will stick to a budget. My thing is that my budget for my wedding would be more than the one that he's setting. That's the thing. Okay. Because so. I know you're not going to spend enough for it to be the kind of event that we want. I know that we can have an amazing event and still save some money. Being stingy on your wedding day, do you want to be stood up at the altar? If we're going to plan this wedding, guys, I need to see that budget. There you go. Will this budget work with the groom's vision, or will it cost him in the end? Okay, so this is the budget. Now we have to remember this is going to be enhanced with the $5,000 budget boost. And that's Paul's budget, not mine. Okay, Leslie, I have a surprise for you. This is for you, Leslie. You get to plan one element of the wedding. You have three guest favors here, three different elements of the wedding. Choose one, and that's the element that you get to plan. <laughs> oh, pick one. It's pretty like you. <laughs> no. Something blue. All right. Ah. Coming up. <laughs> it's my vision. <laughs> You're happy to sign off on of. this. I have control. And this is going to work with the theme. Philip, pick my wedding dress. There certainly has to be something wrong with that concept. Nope. Philip can't even nope. pick my slippers. Bride Leslie is overwhelmed with work responsibilities, so she's entrusting her groom Paul with the task of planning their wedding. Easing this decision is a $5,000 budget boost, which she hopes will come in handy, because Paul has a reputation for being tight with his wallet. But at least Leslie gets to have a say on one item for her wedding. What'd you get? Groomsman attire. <laughs> the, the guys? Well, if you're good to me, then I'll be good to you. Don't worry, Paul. You won't lose your shirt over this. I had some out there ideas when it came to centerpieces. I really wanted to see my options in the actual venue space to see what would work best. I needed some opinions. If I got to plan my wedding, the centerpiece I would want would be something with a lot of height and drama, candlelight, something that evoked an 18th century old world feel. Hey, Paul. Hey, guys. Come hey. on in. Come on out. I want you to see oh this. Oh, my God. This wow. is a full art Absolutely. demo. Absolutely. Before you pass any judgment, let me take you through them all. and We'll talk about them. I'll show you kind of where my head is at. Let's hope we can keep that head above water. This one here. I'm not completely sold on it, but the thing is, this whole centerpiece was actually quite affordable. Like, I got the vase at a discount shop. Okay. I got the flowers themselves, like these ones inside from the dollar okay. store. Just kind of put them in and anchored them with That's the rocks. So real. Right? Oh, I love nice. the river rocks on yeah, the bottom. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And Very those, nice. like, I got really, really cheap too. No expense spared for your lovely bride. Don't you think oh, that's pretty? Gorgeous. Maybe I shouldn't have started with this one. All right, yeah. so let's okay. look at this one. This one over here, guys really fits the theme, right? It fits the room. It fits the whole 50s, 60s, scotch decanter, cigar, oh, yeah. baby yeah. theme. I'm all about the logistics yeah. um, and the budget here. So first of all, where did you get all these decanters from? That's the thing. I, I found these in my garage. Nothing says I love you. Like, I found these in my garage. I would have to look around at some vintage shops or maybe some garage sales, yard sales, that sort of thing. See if I could source okay, some Okay, but more. Paul, I'm we don't even know that. how much this would cost. Like, that just scares me. Not to mention, I think Leslie will hate it. What? You <laughs> think she'll hate this? She would love this! Are you kidding me? This maybe is for, Boys Club. Maybe for your rec room, but... Oh, Not for her wedding. I still love it, though. Okay, you we still love that. this one. Not Let's see the last one. All right, one. what I was going for with this is okay. kind of a 1950s Healthy. mom's table. You know, a, a little oh. bit more old school. Honestly, God, I didn't see this one. I, I just couldn't figure out. Well, okay, but do you see what happened? Like, yeah. he just took the apples. So people are, people are going to eat the apples. Is yeah. That, is that yeah, part of the... Yeah. And then you don't even oh, have yeah. a centerpiece anymore. Yeah. Look at the bright side, Paul. 
You can save on the catering bill. It's your decision. It's okay. just what is the look you're going with? You know what? I I'm not sure. I can't. I'm having a hard time picking between the three of them. What do you guys think? Though? I love you like the that? flowers. Yeah. See, that's the one I'm not sold on, but I, I like the way it looks, and it was very cost effective. Yeah. Let's go, go back and have a look at this one, and then you can make a decision. I do like it. I'm not in love with it. I managed to save some money and get creative. No, I think it looks pretty darn you, good. You, you, Leslie would like this. Okay. The softening of the room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like you've spent a lot of money, but you haven't. Leslie will never know. <laughs> She'll never know. I was really excited about dress shopping. I really thought this could be an opportunity to get really creative. I wanted something that would knock everyone's socks off and really make a statement. So I brought my brother Mark and his girlfriend Vanessa to help me out. Now, a lot of these are very prom dress to me. I don't know. Some of these aren't too bad. Dude, I'm surprised that you decided, like, what about a traditional wedding dress store? Oh, look at this. Dude, you're not going to find something like this in a wedding dress store. That is actually kind of... It's blue. Well, you've covered the something borrowed, but try not to make your bride blue. You don't think she'd like this? For a, a cocktail party, not for a wedding. Oh, she'd totally love this. Not so fast, Paul. You may have the final say, but Leslie can't resist the bride's ultimate experience, trying on a wedding dress. Oh, my God! Oh, look at this one. I love it. Excuse me. Could I try this one on? Yes, of course. Is that such a good idea? <laughs> yes, of course it's a good idea. Don't even question that. You don't get to pick your dress. No, but I get to try this one on. <laughs> Here she is. Wow. What do you think? Oh, Isn't it awesome? Nice. Look at this. Beautiful. I love that it has that 18th century classy feel and that it's it's lace head to toe. It's so romantic. I don't know if we should be playing this game. <laughs> really? I'm, I'm worried that, you know, trying on these dresses, we're setting you up for disappointment in the end. Well, it couldn't hurt. I mean, a girl who's getting married has to go try on some dresses. It's like part of the ritual. Oh, yeah. I, I agree. What's the worst thing that could happen? I'm totally right. disappointed in the one that Paul picks. Did you guys need help finding anything? How much is this dress? This one's about $70. Beautiful. Oh, man. Thanks. Will she love it? I don't think so. I think a white dress to her would be important. Why is white that important, though? It, dude, it just is. It just is. Do you have any white dresses? Like... Yeah, we've actually got lots of wedding dresses that we have. You just need to look yet. at a couple. All right, guys. Oh, sweet. Two oh, big bags. Nice. 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 I could buy in bulk. <laughs> Save a fortune. I'll take this over here. So is this what you call bagging a dress? Can't find the top. Dude. Yeah, that's pretty Look at nice. The detail on it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Is that vintage? That's not bad. It's, it's like they had a great time inspired. with this dress. Definitely vintage Wait, inspired. Wait, what do you mean by inspired though? Like, where it, is it? It's probably from the last year or so. That's a new dress then? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, guys, yeah. I can get a new dress anywhere. I want a vintage, a real vintage dress. Yeah. How much is this one? It's probably going to run you about three hundred and fifty dollars oh, for come that on. dress. <laughs> it's Dude, a little you're worried bit more about expensive. It's <laughs> an amazing price. That's like five times the amount of the blue dress. Dude, you know what like a new more. wedding dress like yeah. this would cost at a store? Like, like thousands. Why do you think we're not shopping at a new <laughs> wedding dress store? You gotta think what she's gonna like. And Personally, dude, I think she's gonna like the blue. No, come on, Paul, that's ridiculous. It's a really important decision for a woman. The wedding dress. That's, but it's my like decision. She... <laughs> I know. It's my <laughs> vision. But you're happy to sign off on of. this. I have control. And this is going to work with the theme. You're set it. on this. Like, you're I'm sure. set on it. All right. Oh. It's going to happen. Great. Let's wrap Great. it up. I really wanted to bring some nostalgia to the wedding, something that would warm everybody's hearts and their stomachs. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It smells Did good. Did you love it? Yeah, this is I nice. I told you I'd find you the best yeah, cookie place. The size of these things, things man. Doesn't everything? Hi, guys. Good hey. cookie. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi there. Good, thanks. How are you? Good, how are you? Excellent. Um, we are planning a wedding, not us, but this is the groom, <laughs> Paul, and he's planning a whole 1950s wedding. And he wants to do this kind of old-fashioned 50s cookie, milk and cookie kind of bar. So we're in the right place. Trying yes. to be different. Excellent. He's got some tasters right behind oh, here. I'll take that for there you go. if you want. Beautiful. Here you go, guys. Oh, Ooh, there's the chocolate chip. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. These are so good. Okay, so how much would these cookies cost? $12 a dozen. So about a dollar a cookie. Mm -hmm. Like, how many cookies were you thinking of doing? It's more about the effect, so I kind of want to, I was thinking we can get some gourmet cookies and then kind of mix them in with some store-bought ones. So this is how the cookie crumbles. 
why would you make store about it with these cookies? Dude. This is gourmet cookies. The thing is, not everybody's gonna have a cookie at the end of the night. I could get a, like Dude. a whole bunch of boxes. I think some people are gonna have three let's, cookies. Let's get out of here. I, I wonder if they have something wanna... called a cheapy cheap cookie because that would be perfect <laughs> for you. I understand that you know you want to save oh, no, money, but they're like a dollar a cookie, and you're not even going to give one to every single person. But I got 150 guests. Yeah, I'm trying to save a little bit of extra money. This is your wedding, man. Dude. Yeah, but it's cookies. I, I mean, I think my sister's gonna be a little upset when she comes up and sees store-bought cookies. There'll be an issue, especially if her brother goes up and does not get a gourmet cookie Donna. because he was last in line. Paul, <laughs> there's kind of like etiquette rules to go along with that. Like you can't, ah, you can't get etiquette. gourmet cookies and then not get enough for each guest. Let me think about it. Okay? I'm sorry, Heidi. Not that yeah. I don't love it. Don't apologize to me. It's I not love my this cookie. Mess. I'll be coming back yes. here. I want <laughs> cookies. <laughs> coming up. You Should I plug my ears? King at uh, $350 for the wedding. Okay. <laughs> it strikes me as funny that uh, some people will go and renew their vows. And I didn't know they wore out. <laughs> Our couple, Leslie and Paul, both want a wedding from another era. Problem is that Leslie loves old world Victorian, while unbeknownst to her, Paul is pushing for 1950s retro. Unfortunately for Leslie, she's forfeited control for a $5,000 budget boost, but she's hoping that extra cash will encourage her fiance to be less frugal. I understand that, you know, you want to save money, but they're like a dollar a cookie and you're not even going to give one to every single person? The question remains, will Paul turn a blind eye to the budget to please his bride? Finally, it was my turn to do some real shopping. The kind of shopping where money is spent and decisions are made. And I was ready to make the most of it. So I brought my girls, Carol and Caitlin, with me to shop for the groomsmen attire. I'm so jazzed. We finally get to actually buy some stuff for my wedding. I get to pick stuff out. I can't believe Hi, you did it. Hi, how are you? Not bad, how are you nice doing? I called ahead of time. Do you have yeah. any like, um, like tails or something a little sure, more like? Sure. Well, honestly, that is can, absolutely yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. No, I want to see it. I want to yeah. see it. That is absolutely right. ridiculous. So. Oh, come on. They're gonna look like... awesome. No, you have to see the whole vision. They're gonna look great. You have to believe. I don't think so. Please. <laughs> I was oh hilarious. yeah. Are you... Come on. It's classic. It'll never go out of style. Timelessness may have just met its limits, Leslie. Leslie, it has tails. This makes me happy. And Maybe you, you know. should put it on and show her and see yeah. like, what it looks oh. like. I think Kate should model for us. <laughs> Maybe she won't get to see how good it looks. Yeah, I'd much rather see you when it looks good. Like your plate on right now? All yeah, right. I'll hold your purse for you. Done. Thanks, man. No problem. <laughs> All right. See, look at that. And how do you look feel? <laughs> I feel magical. Perfect size. <laughs> We can also match up everything for you. What else can you get? We can give you top hat and walking You have stick. hats? Yeah. We gotta see the hats. We gotta see oh. the hats. Yeah. That is so cool. Now let's see Paul top this. Okay. It looks so... Oh my god! We're done. We're done. Nothing like a little stick handling on your big day. What do you think Paul will think? It doesn't matter what he thinks. This is Leslie's choice. Exactly. You know what? I don't get to say in anything else, so I get to pick this. How much would the tux be? The tux will cost you about 123. Well, how much are the, the top hats? Uh, top hats are 50 bucks. And how much are the canes? 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Okay, so we're talking about, well, we're talking about over 700 bucks, but you know what? For four guys, that's not that much for How for much do you actually have to spend? Um, Paul wanted, Paul budgeted for me and wanted me to spend $500, but oh, that's wow. not that much more. That's not a lot And that's money. not, 500 bucks isn't a lot to get four guys nice clothing. It may not be a lot for you, but I'm willing to bet Paul will think it was enough. I feel like I need to do a song and a dance. I would like to see that I've... as well. <laughs> Let's, uh, lovely. Oh, yes. <laughs> I brought Heidi, Leslie's brother Colin, and my brother Mark to help me put the pieces together for this cool idea that I had conceptualized for the wedding. I really wanted something a bit quirky and off the wall. Oh, your idea was off the wall quirkiness, all right. <laughs> wow, this place is fantastic. How are you? Good. Um, we're here to rent some furniture. Can you tell us exactly how that works? Yes, we rent it. Uh, it's basically just 25% of the ticket price, and that's and that's it? it? Yeah. Oh, well, that's easy. Okay, so, and everything's got prices. Okay, perfect, thanks. We're just gonna have a look around. What are you doing? I brought a sketch. 
Okay. Yeah, so Heidi, what I want to do is I'm going to build a giant board in the background. Right. Um, we're going to have picture frames on the walls, and uh -huh. then those are going to be cut out so people can stand behind and look like they're, you know, the people are a picture on the wall. On the wall. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Why don't we start looking for stuff then? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay, and we'll see what this is all going to cost. Perfect. I like this couch, actually. Hopefully this won't put you in the hot seat. So oh, that's $4.95. Okay, I'm gonna start to add all this stuff up as we walk around then. What about the table? Like, I like the table. I did, yeah. yeah. Uh, nice. I didn't draw yeah. a table in, but this does work. So yep. the table, the couch. The couch, what else are we doing? Uh, I need a lamp. A lamp. These aren't bad. This is very, very 50. Oh, uh, dude, that is yeah, brilliant. It's just 65. No. Okay, you know so what? This is Oh, that's fantastic. perfect. Fantastic. And I like that table, too. You like the, the table? <laughs> Colin, how much is this stuff here? Because that's like this. This is 195. Okay, so plus. 195. And the so chair's 345. This groom is on a roll, but the bill may make him balk. Okay, you know what? We are now um, about three hundred and fifty dollars. And then I still gotta get the supplies for the back wall. For the yes, for the whole vignette. Perfect. Let's do it. For for like the the yeah, wall. Man. Okay, wait a minute. Exactly how much is that costing? I figured probably about another 200 bucks. What was your budget amount for this? Like $300. This is lot. your <laughs> fingerprint on your wedding. Yes. Do you think, think about it that way. Colin, you know Leslie better than anybody. Do you think she'd like it? I think she'll yeah. love the fact that people will remember this for years to come. Roddy, let's do it. I love it. Let's do it. Come on. This is the perfect idea. I know Paul, it's you know what me. I just love? I love that you try to talk me into it. It's not my money, know, sweetheart. It's, true. it's yours. <laughs> but I think we should get it now, just in case. Okay, we're getting it. Lose. We're renting it. Yes. You're doing this. Can we get the globe too. We're yes. not getting the globe. Oh, it's Thirty-five bucks. We're not getting the globe. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> All right. When it came to Leslie's bouquet, I really wanted to be different from what today's brides gravitate towards. I wanted second opinion, so I brought Mark and Heidi for help. I really appreciate that. Individuality is key. No, individuality is expensive. I'm worth it. In terms of the perfect bouquet that I would love, I actually would love to do something really different and have an antique vintage fan instead of flowers. Yeah, I know this may seem unusual, but our groom is here to pick his bride's bouquet. Yeah. Well, this is a first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very uncommon, but you know, I like to take control of things. I've actually found a picture in my aunt's wedding photo album that I really, really love. Probably the most stunning bouquet I've ever seen. It looks like a giant rose. Ooh, is that one rose? It's, yeah, it's uh, gotta be. I know exactly. Wow. That, this is called a uh, glamelia bouquet, and it's made to look like one giant rose. This was very popular in the 50s and 60s. Yeah, that's kind um, of the theme I'm going with. And I could actually show you sort of how it's made. Bruno, how long would it take to make that? Um, you're probably looking at about four hours. Making this bouquet will definitely be no bed of roses. Four hours just yeah. to make the bouquet? Yes. Well, so, that worries what's... me a little. <laughs> For one bouquet? Okay? Yeah. You're well, the expert here. That's Let labor. me just show you. <laughs> so basically okay. you start with one rose like this, right. and then you will uh, start adding petals to it, and just oh. to keep building on it. So just to give you an idea, so that this is sort of what's going to be taking okay. one rose, and then you just keep on layering the petals. So yeah. you just layer wow. and layer wow. and layer. Yeah. Now we know that this is very labor intensive. Yes. You need to tell us how much this bouquet is going to cost. So you Should are going to be my ears? looking at uh, $350 for the wedding bouquet. Dude. Wow. <laughs> There's no doubt that it's incredible. Like this is the most unique it's very thing. Very unique. And I'm Love going it. for unique. Yes. Yeah. And it's it fits vintage. The period. It's very vintage. But that God, that's a lot of money for something for couple yes. of hours. This is not the time to be stingy, Paul. I think you should do it. I think seriously, <laughs> it's it's the, it's the most important day in your life. Leslie is going to go crazy over that thing. She would absolutely love that. Yes, for once, think of your bride, not your budget. We should just do it. Now, was that so hard? Yes. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Coming up. I wanted to keep costs under control, and I knew I could. There are other places you can cut costs, okay. not on my dress. Relax. I had numerous responsibilities. No, no, excuse me. One. One responsibility. That was it. The transportation. I looked after the music. Uh, 
Well, yeah, I guess kind of. Well, you knew the DJ. Yeah, okay, two. okay, so yeah. Uh, I helped your mom put together all the centerpieces for our tables. I, yeah, that's true, too. Sorry. That's You're three. right. And I showed up. Ah! That's four. Our groom Paul is planning a 50s wedding in fine style. The problem is he's trying to pull it off with a budget from that era. He's already set his sights on a second-hand dress and wants to supplement his dessert table with grocery store add-ons. And although he splurged on the bouquet, it didn't come easy. There's no doubt that it's incredible. Like, this is the most unique it's very thing. unique. Ever, and I'm Look. going for unique. Yes. Yeah. And it's it fits vintage. The period. It's very vintage. But that, God, that's a lot of money for something for a couple yes. of hours. Bride Leslie has her own ideas. A more expensive old world celebration with traditional touches. She's hoping the extra $5,000 they have for their budget will encourage Paul to put aside his miserly ways. I was nervous when it came time to try on the dress that Paul picked. I needed Shannon and Carol with me for support when Heidi took me for the alterations. Okay, we're here, girls. This isn't a bridal store. No, I know. Okay, okay, hold on. Your dress is definitely here. Uh, Paul has chosen your dress here, and you're going to have all the alterations done today. Okay, you need to relax. You need to relax. <laughs> it's okay. That may be easy for you to say, Heidi, but this is, after all, her wedding dress. You're gonna go straight. You're gonna go straight. Straight. Okay, keep, this going, feels, keep going. Keep this going. This feels keep really going. short. Okay. Um, can we get a good situation here? Like the I dress, see. it's like it's like I can't get it to like do up like here. Oh my god! Oh my god, the dress just ripped. I've heard of bursting at the seams, but this, this takes it to a new level. You're gonna just stay here for just a minute, okay? Like, no, 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 leave the blindfold on. I'm just gonna make a phone call, and then I'm gonna be right back. It's just gonna be like one minute. Oh my gosh. Totally doesn't fit. No, 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 no. It's really oh cute. Yeah. Is it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> that sounded reassuring. How's it going, Heidi? I kind of have a bit of a situation here. Uh-oh, what's going on? Okay, Paul, the dress doesn't fit. Well, you gotta be kidding me. No, I am not kidding you. She is literally standing in the store right now um, with a blindfold on in a dress that does not fit. What do you want me to do? Like, do you want me to just leave and you're gonna have to like find another dress? Like, what am I gonna do here? When I was there, she had another dress that I was looking at. It worked too, it had a similar feel, but it was a little bit more expensive. I really think if this other dress fits here, you're just gonna have to bite the bullet and spend the extra money. You know what, maybe I have to. We're going to plan B. Okay. So we'll take Can it back. I, I need to see this, though, because this is crazy. OK, <laughs> OK. You know what? We're not going with this dress, so let's just look at it. OK, ready? OK. Oh, my god. It's blue. What the heck else is he picking? Um, not this dress. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going with this. OK, we're going to take you out. Oh, it's so nice. OK. It feels nice. <laughs> I want to see it. Oh, you want to see it? <laughs> yes. You definitely want to see it. Yes. Okay. One, two, three. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> it looks like a wedding dress. Oh my God, it's perfect. How did he choose the other yeah. dress over this yes. one? He wanted to go with something a little bit quirky, a little bit less traditional of a wedding dress, so the blue one was exactly that. The other one was cheaper, wasn't it's it? It's true, it was. <laughs> I think that's what you call stating the obvious. Consensus, let's, let's bring you over, show the girls. I wanna oh know God. what everyone thinks here. <gasps> wow. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> really, the first dress? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine him like, with a hanger, like one on one. I was nervous to discuss the budget with Heidi in front of Leslie. I knew she wouldn't have enough context to understand the numbers that were gonna fly around. And there's no way to reassure her and keep everything a secret. So that was pretty tense. You know, a little knowledge felt way worse than pure ignorance. Thank you for meeting with me today. We really need to go through all Absolutely. of the numbers mm -hmm. so you know exactly where you are. Yes. Now, you have to remember, I'm not going to be going into specifics because you handed over the entire planning process to Paul for the $5,000 budget boost. Yep. Leslie, let's talk about your dress. <laughs> Yeah, I'd really like to talk about that, actually. I have no doubt you want to talk to Paul about the dress. Paul, originally, the first dress 
uh, that Leslie had tried on, you were under budget. I know. I should hope so. What do you mean? But What's now that with to mean? the second dress, you're actually slightly over budget from yeah. what you originally set. I know. I wasn't thrilled with that, but. You know, I wasn't I, thrilled with the original dress you put me in. There was a reason for this. I wanted to keep costs under control, and I knew I could. There are other places you can cut costs, hey. not on my dress. Relax. Let's talk about the novelty interactive photography area. Pardon me, Heidi. Could you repeat that? What is it? A novelty interactive photography I area. I like that term. What, right? is yeah. that? what is that? It's very creative, and it's at $1,200. You're spending $1,200 on it? That's a ton of money. You were going to cut costs on my wedding dress and $1,200 on something I've never even heard of. But this would make such a big difference. Leslie, now this, of course, was your choice, the groomsman attire, and Leslie went over budget on this item. Just a bit. How much did You're you spend? You're worth it. You're worth it. $732. Like, that's Leslie, it's four people. It's not that much. Did you buy them? No. It, they're just rented, but it's... What? You spent all that money and we're not even going to get to keep them? Trust me, you're not going to wear it again. Anyways, I just... I would wear it again if we... No, wait a second. If, I, if it's something I wouldn't want to wear <laughs> again? Now who's concerned about their outfit? They look great for the wedding. Oh, now I'm worried. And, no, they'll be, they'll be jazzed up a little bit. They're... they're jazzed I got some up. stuff to jazz it up. It just means that they look great. You're scared. And me. you will. You'll look great. And realize I have no control over anything. Are you really complaining you about the one in that. the one thing that I get to plan and you're gonna put up a stink about it? I, I'm very, very particular about what I want to wear. And guess what? There's a hundred things that I'm particular about that I don't get to talk about or I mean, know about until else. I show up that day. So guess what? You can deal with this one thing. You need to suck it up. Better get this man a big straw. All right, I'll suck it up. You do have good taste, so. Yeah, that's right. You picked me. <laughs> that's right. All right. <laughs> Coming up. What have I done? I don't know what's happening today. <laughs> As I'm walking down the aisle and I'm looking at David's face, I'm thinking, God, if it wasn't for you, I'd kill everybody here. <laughs> Paul and Leslie's big day has finally arrived. And almost all the planning has fallen on Paul's shoulders. He's pulled out all the stops while keeping a tight eye on the purse strings for a retro-themed wedding. That's his idea, not Leslie's. She virtually has had no say in the decision-making and is uneasy because she has no idea what to expect. But that's the chance you take when you trade your control in for an extra $5,000. That's a ton of money. You were going to cut costs on my wedding dress and $1,200 on something I've never even heard of. But this will make such a big difference. Will Leslie regret giving up the responsibility? Will Paul do his new wife proud with his vintage vision? The morning of the wedding, reality sunk in, but you know what? I was completely ready for this. I knew what was coming. I was prepared and completely relaxed. <laughs> you know what? I knew you would be relaxed that morning and that I would be the only one freaking out. Okay, so tell me. Tell me how you're feeling right now. I am kind of freaking out. <laughs> you're kind of freaking out? Why are you freaking out? What have I done? I don't know what's happening today. <laughs> Stay calm, stay calm. You're gonna be good. Hoping, of course, this isn't the calm before the storm. Gentlemen, Marty. gentlemen, we are Go here. Ahead. The tuxes Go. have arrived. Beautiful. Time for Paul to try on the unknown. Where's his blindfold? I would have gone with a skinny tie, but this is kind of... Oh, my God, oh, they're right. tails, dude. Yes. Tails? Are you sure you got the right one? They're all... All our names yeah. are on them, so... <laughs> oh, my God. That's a lot of tail, dude. Boys, please. This is a family show. Does this go to the theme, do you think? Um, if the theme was, like, uh... 1800s? No, maybe they messed up. Maybe these are the wrong pants for the jacket. I don't... Well, it's too late for anything now, so let's try them on and see how they look. Here, sir. Nice. You slick man. You look like a groom. I think that's the idea. Even with the tails? It looks awesome, man. You look like a million bucks. No, it looks great. How are you feeling? You all right? I think she's going to like it. I'm just a little bit worried that maybe she won't. She's going to like it, man. She's going to love it, dude. I think she's... You, you, I think she, you, you put you a lot fantastic. of work, a lot of effort in this thing. It's yeah. going yeah. to be fantastic. You know what? It's going to yeah. be a special day. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. We're only going to be able to tell wait. in a couple, couple more hours. At the end of the day, you can't wait to see her face. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that's yeah. true. So amazing right now. Just what I dreamed of. My daughter oh, on her wedding day. <laughs> Don't make me cry. I don't want to run no, 
Oh, she's ready to make up. Okay, are you ready to go downstairs? Yes. Okay. Oh my god! What do you think? <laughs> you look great! Thank you! Isn't it awesome? I have another surprise for you. What the florist had to do was take apart 20 roses and then piece together with wire, layer by layer, each rose petal to create oh one god. rose. Oh my god! This is amazing. Okay, so I gotta go because I need to go over to the guy's house and drop off all their accessories! Oh, okay, okay, so I'm out of here. I'll see you later, guys. Yes. Hey, yes. Hello. Hello. Leslie's, did you? Oh, no, 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 you don't have to hide it anymore. It's wedding day. I just got so used to it. Right? Honest to God, though, there are no words for how she looks. Everything is yeah. spectacular. Wow. She loves oh, everything. Wow. Oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. When I showed her the Glamelia bouquet, oh, she you have no idea what a hit that was. She really? loves it. See what happens when you spend some money, Paul? Your bride is happy. I have another surprise. I don't know if we can handle more surprises. <laughs> I'm gonna need some help. Oh my god. I need some help here. Hey, Everybody grab this? a box, grab a box, grab a box. Oh, box. yes. What the heck is this? Top hat. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> you're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Find yourself a rabbit and you've got your entertainment for the evening. Mine's a little big. That, you got a small head. like baby New Year. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like it. Okay, guys, I think you all need one of these. What is yeah. that? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. I love that. So, Paul, even though this is not your 50s theme, yeah. Are you still happy with what Leslie picked? Let's face it, we look good. You know, you look good. sure, we're not we're not gonna fit in with the theme, but who cares at this point? People are gonna get it. We can joust <laughs> later on. <laughs> When I saw Paul for the first time at the wedding, he looked so handsome in the tux that I picked for him. <laughs> and seeing him made me realize the morning must have been tough for him because he was in the dark for once. <laughs> Leslie took my breath away, and I immediately knew that we were gonna have a great day. I, Paul, take you, Leslie, to be my wife. I, Paul, take you, Leslie, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For richer, for poorer. For richer, and mostly for poorer. <laughs> <laughs> to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. I, Leslie, take you, Paul, to be my husband. I, Leslie, take you, Paul, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for poorer. <laughs> in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. I declare that they are husband and wife. Beautiful. Coming up. Oh my god. Is this where you're having the reception? Absolutely. Wait till you see it. On the morning of the wedding, I guess because I'm a control freak, I actually went to the venue and to check if everything was done, and nothing was done. So I had to wait till everything showed up and I set everything up and even though they tried to send me home, I stayed till it was all done. Paul and Leslie have now exchanged their vows and Paul has so far managed to delight his bride with thoughtful touches. But his planned retro-themed reception is chock full of unusual choices which could easily throw Leslie for a loop. For richer and mostly for poorer. <laughs> Will Paul be able to satisfy his bride in the end, even with his obsession with cutting costs? Or will Leslie doubt her wisdom in walking away from the decision-making, even for an extra $5,000? Finally, Leslie was gonna get to see the surprises I'd planned for her and all of our guests at the reception. I was really excited. Is this where you're having the reception? Absolutely, wait till you see it. Oh my God, it looks so perfect. You did really good. Oh, there's more to come. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. D'Souza, I have your drinks for you. Talk about taking the concept of reception literally. Why, thank you very much. <laughs> and I don't want you to worry about a thing. I'm going to be taking care of everything. Kitty is our secretary for the evening. She'll be taking dictation from the guests. Everything That's is vintage. Everything is right from that period. We're not there's done yet. More. Let's go. There's Seriously? more. There's... You have a 1950s living room. Your guests will come back here. 
Oh, I know. And get their pictures taken. Wow. <laughs> yes. This is incredible. I I'm speechless. <laughs> Leslie is finding this living room set up picture perfect. Let's go wow. see your home. I can't wait to see what you did Let's next. <laughs> wait till you see this. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, my God. Do I know what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the centerpiece. Paul put this entire centerpiece together. I've spent this whole time worrying that you weren't going to spend the money and that it would come off looking cheap, but this looks incredible. But it wasn't that easy, was it? No, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> but I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Is you worth it? I've only been my husband for an hour, but you're the best husband <laughs> ever. It wasn't the old world wedding that Leslie had envisioned, but Paul's vintage style succeeded in winning her heart. The reception may have started, but Paul still has one last surprise up his sleeve. What the heck is this? This is the late night this street table. It's a 1950s <laughs> mom's kitchen table. This is amazing. amazing. Okay, you have to try one. Leslie's so smitten that she hasn't noticed the store-bought cookies. I can't believe you thought of this. I know the way to your heart, my dear. You do. I do. Tonight was so amazing. It's the best night ever. I, I can't. It. I wouldn't wish for anything different. You, you did it all. You didn't think I could do it, did you? Well, you know, I have I my notes. I have I my notes. Do you had to. You have to spend the money. You I know, pulled like. It off. And hey, I didn't even have to spend all the money. Well, you had to spend money. You no, spent I some did. money. I spent some money. Yes, you did. A little did. bit. You did. A little bit. But you liked it. I loved it. Awesome. You're amazing. Paul may have won Leslie over. <laughs> But at what cost? Did he make ends meet or overspend in the name of love? The budget we gave Heidi was $28,000. And with the added budget boost of five grand, that brings us up to a total budget of $33,000. I still can't believe Paul made all the centerpieces. Who knew he was so crafty? Total cost was $280. The Glamelia Bridal Bouquet added the perfect vintage touch to Leslie's look. It cost $350. I loved the dress Paul picked for me. The one I ended up with after the first one didn't work out, that is. The total cost, including accessories, came to $525. The whole milk and cookies setup was a huge hit. Even with the mixture of the designer and store-bought cookies, it came to $550. Okay, so the attire I picked for Paul and the guys did not fit Paul's retro theme at all. But they looked so handsome. All the tuxes, including top hats and canes, came to $732. Heidi was phenomenal help. I could not have done it without her. Her fee was $2,500. The venue was great, and it fit Paul's theme perfectly. Including food and alcohol, it came to $20,000. Miscellaneous charges, including all the rental furniture, the photographer, and the vintage car, came to $6,549. Our total spending for the wedding was $31,486. So that means with the budget boost, we were under, yep, under budget by $1,514. Nice. Paul, I am so impressed. You really knew what you were doing. Hey, does that mean I can quit my day job and we can go into event planning together? <laughs> I don't know if you should quit your day job. But my birthday's coming up. The welcome was warm. The photos were snapped. And the couple had their toast. The only question left is, did Mark leave any cookies for anyone else? I think he really likes cookies. We're both really good with money until we're together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first to admit that I am the spender in our relationship. And, and I am the saver, for sure. Thank goodness. We'd be broke right now. 